What's up everybody? Welcome to uh, Marchant Chevrolet. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Chevy Silverado Z71 Extended Cab. Stay tuned over the next few minutes. Um, I have a 2017 right here and that one right there is a 2018. We'll look and see if we can find some differences with the new year model, but uh, stay tuned with us. Let's go ahead and get this started. All right, everybody, so, uh, you know, I came in today to film some cars, and I said, oh, wow, look at there. The 2018 Silverados have finally arrived at the dealership. I was like, let's go ahead and get the keys to a few vehicles, take a look at them, see what we can find out what's going on. Once again, we got some overcast weather here in the Carolinas like we've had all summer long, but that's not going to stop old Chad here from filming some of these trucks. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and turn the camera around and crank up this beautiful 2018 Silverado right now. Now, one thing I can tell you that's nice about the uh, truck, and it's the same on the 2017 as well, but you do have the remote start feature right here on your remote. Make sure the car is locked. Hold that down. And she's cranked right up. You can hear that V8 perm real nicely. I'm pretty sure it's a V8. Let me look here. Well, it doesn't have anything on the window sticker right here. This is, uh, again, it's brand spanking new, so uh, there wasn't any information on there, but I can kind of tell the engine's size from hearing it, you know? You ever been like, like uh, you ever had your dad that was in the Air Force and you hear planes flying over the house and he's like, that's a C-17, 747. I'm like, dad, how can you tell? Oh, well, you know, I can tell from hearing the engines, you know? Well, it's kind of the same with vehicles, right? You can kind of tell a V8 versus a V6 and uh, you definitely know if it's an electric car because you don't hear it running at all. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and hop in this truck, pull it to a, uh, a safe spot to film at and, uh, and take a look at it. All right, so when you're inside and you got it in remote start, you're not going to be able to roll your windows up and down. You're not going to be able to do a whole lot of anything, really. It's just to kind of get the engine running and get the AC or heater kind of blowing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your foot on the brake. And, uh, well, you don't have to put your foot on the brake. This one doesn't have a start-stop engine button. So you just kind of put your key in like that and just churn it. And uh, the vehicle stays cranked up. And now she's engaged where we can roll down the windows and, you know, all that kind of thing. All right, let's go ahead and pull her out. And uh, Wi-Fi connection. All right, what's going on here? She's cranked up. Okay, wasn't cranked up completely. Had to turn the key one more time there to, to put it into drive. All right, now we're in drive. That truck right there is a 2017, so I'm going to actually pull out, well, if I can get my e-brake off. E-brake is still down there on the floor. It's in demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. All right, thank you, sweetheart. All right. Now I'm going to kind of show you real quick. Again, that is your 2017 front end right there. Have a good look at it while we're looking at it. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull her out. Now I'm going to show you something else. If you can just hang tight with me real quick. Get another key out my pocket because I'm going to show you another 2018 out here. Uh, come on, we got a 2018 Malibu in too, so I'm going to be looking at that today as well. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the, the blue one over here, right here, there you go. That one's also a 2018. And basically what I'm trying to show you here, that's a 2017, that's a 2018. I want you to kind of look... And uh, other than, you know, the chrome versus the black, do you see a whole lot of difference there on the two trucks from the front end, the way it looks, right? Not a whole lot, not a whole lot. So, you know, again, Ford with the new F-150, they did some upgrades on the uh, exterior body and the front end and things like that with their truck, but Chevy pretty much kept it about the same going into 2018. So not a whole lot of difference there. I don't see really any difference other than uh, the grill has, uh, the blue one here has more of a honeycomb effect than the black one over there. But again, you know, that may be something that's just kind of, they do that on all of them. There's another 2018 right there in the gray. Still a beautiful truck. You know, again, they don't have to change the look up every year. Okay, I mean they don't have to and they don't need to change the look every single year. I mean Chevy does so much stuff with their trucks. I mean look at this one over here, the silver one I'm about to roll up on next to. 
I mean, look at that one. Look how sporty that one is right there. That's a 2017. I mean, there's lots of different trim levels, different packages, and all that kind of stuff you can get on your truck. So again, they don't have to change it every year because, you know, each truck seems to have its own little look about it, right? I can tell you, it definitely does ride nice. I mean, it feels nice and smooth while I'm kind of cruising through the parking lot here. And basically, I'm going to pull it up right in this little section here and kind of get out and we'll take a look at the exterior body. And then we'll come back on the interior and have a look around. But again, this is my first time inside the 2018 Silverado. So it's kind of my own little reaction to this new year model truck. All right. Nice solid truck. Fuel economy ratings. Uh, again, uh, 22 highway, 16 city, average combined of 18 mile per gallon. Okay, so there's that. And here's the truck. I like that color. It's really pretty. Kind of a, it's a gray. Beautiful truck though, I tell you. Chevy's got a nice looking truck, no doubt about it. Everybody, you know, you got your Ford fans, you got your Chevy fans, you got your Dodge truck fans, you got your Toyota truck fans. You know, there's so many different trucks to pick from nowadays. Uh, you know, Honda's even trying to do a little truck with the Ridgeline, which, you know, I think it looks better than the previous model Ridgelines. Those kind of look like Chevy Avalanches, but um, still not really a truck like something like this. This one's extended cab, so not full four-door. As you can see, you got the Z71 logo right there. This is where you're going to put your foot there to get into the back of the truck. You got your bed liner, backup camera, tow package, spare tires right behind there. Looks pretty good. Let's see what kind of space we got back on the extended cab. So that's as, that's as wide as that door will open, okay? Just so you know, I don't see it going any wider than that. And that's what kind of space you have. I mean, if it was my decision, I think I would roll with a full four-door. Not everybody wants a full four-door. Some people just want the extended cab. It's a little tight back here. Um, not a whole lot of leg room, but do take into consideration, you know, that those seats right there are probably pushed all the way back. Looks like we do have some LED lighting up top on the roof line, which looks good. You got uh, your old crap handles all the way around on both driver passenger side, front and rear. Power seats. Okay, so you don't have to have leather just to get a power seat, so that's nice. All your power options here for your um, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Looks like you got some brake gain there, four-wheel drive, of course. Um, Leather-wrapped steering wheel looks nice. Again, I like the uh, display screen here. Nice and clear. It's got everything you need on it, you know, just like a mobile phone or something like that. Uh, all kinds of little stuff on there. We're not going to go over all these little features like that today. We're really just kind of taking a first look at the 2018. Still got OnStar, more LED lighting. I'm glad they got sunglass holders up top. Let's take a look at our vanity mirror, see what we got going on here. There you go. So overall, good looking truck again. Not bad at all. And uh, this, they, I mean, literally this just came in. And I know it's hard to see, but I mean, they don't even have any listed options or price or anything on this particular window sticker here. That's called your Ramoni, uh, <laughs> Moroni label. Nothing really there to read other than fuel economy ratings right there. So we'll definitely, uh, when, when, the, when we get some in, they got pricing on them and all that, we'll definitely go over some of that stuff. Oh, before we go, I did want to take a look at the lighting. Just to see if we got any difference going on with the lighting system on the truck. Let's see what we got. Still got your daytime running light right here, which looks really sweet. Your projector bulbs there. And then you also got LED lights down here for your fog lights. So I'm happy to see that. So LEDs there. That's probably LED right there as well. Your blinkers are down there. So good looking headlights, good looking daytime running lights, and good looking fog lights down there, nice and bright. 
Can't wait to do a uh, nighttime review on all these Chevy vehicles out here when the time changes in October. I know a lot of y'all been asking, hey, when can we see the night reviews on these vehicles? It's coming soon, folks. I promise you. Even today, I mean, literally, I think we're like two days away from September, and it's already getting cooler outside. And uh, so that'd be really exciting to see these vehicles at nighttime right here at the dealership. All right. And that's, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the Chevy trucks, let me know in the comments if you like the new Silverado, the 2018. Also, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification on the channel so you can be updated each day when I pop up new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.